Welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania, Mirror of Fate. Oh, that noise is annoying. I'm Burning Dog Face. Ooh. It doesn't look like there's anything else hidden down here. I was starting to say last time, I can't remember if I mentioned it before. The thought keeps occurring to me. Uh... You know, one of the things of Castlevania is that the castle is always reconfiguring itself. Yeah, you know, keep things interesting. But, uh... Fuck. Fuck. No! Why would they put that way down there? Oh, you're not, uh... Whoa. New bestiary entry unlocked. Dracula. I'm gonna finish that up before we can completely sidetracked. I don't remember the castle really looking this run down in previous games. Like, yeah, it was kind of beat up, but... Dracula, a former knight chosen by the Brotherhood to defeat the Lords of Shadow and restore light to the world. Gabriel fulfilled his mission, but at a heavy price. Tormented by the death of his wife, betrayed by his faith, and led down a path to eternal darkness, he returns from oblivion to the highest tower of the castle in search of revenge on those who wronged him. Oh, shit! Trevor does have to fight him. I kind of hope they return to the, uh, well, I was going to say the present, but then I remembered, you know, they do have a contemporary game in this series, so. I kind of hope they come back to Simon and Alucard after the game. Well, after, you know, well, not after the game, after Trevor. Because it so felt like they were leading up to something with the, uh, that's not how a vampire is supposed to die, but. dooming himself. Hello there! I'm going to murder you! Neither one of you is going to be bugging my son on the side of the tower. Did I seriously just block that fire-breathing attack? Jesus, I might as well just go back. It's not on. What? Oh, there must have been uh, wall meat in there. Well, thanks anyway, but I don't need that anymore. I hope that wasn't a huge mistake, because I can't get out of here anymore.
Maybe I don't want to go in there. Oh, son of a bitch. You couldn't have made it close on him? You want to find funny about that. That right there is actually a lot more effective than most of their usual attacks. I said no! Well, I guess I might as well check. Oop! Ah, oh, shit. I was preparing to do the roll under thing for some reason. Back! No! I was in the middle of that stupid finishing move. Fuck out of the way of that one. Ah! That time I wasn't paying attention. I'll give you that one. Your buddies are, uh... Alright, we can do this. I guess he does stab him in the back of the head. Well, you're gone. Achievement unlocked. The bigger they are... Defeat the Executioner. TWICE! I actually feel like I did better the first time. And I died the first time. This is definitely the upgrade slot. Oh! The final- this is gonna be the final upgrade made by Gandalfi, right? What the fuck is it doing here? Ah, sneeze. What an unfortunate time for a sneeze. Combat cross has been upgraded. Now you can pull the st sacred stone doors. Did it really just say that? Improved combat cross. Forged long ago by Ronaldo Ronaldo Gandalfi. It is uh oh, it is actually the exact same description. Uh, as well as the new bit. Thanks to a new retractable spur on the tip, it can now be used to break open some stone doors. Let me just check something, folks. Yeah, it really did say the sacred stone doors. Hmm, I haven't seen one uh, single teleporter -y thing yet. But I can at least backtrack to the one on this screen. No, I can't. Okay then! Onward. I wonder if that was a button mashy sequence in the original game. 
I, I remember reading a review that specifically complained about just how very many of them there were. But, uh... The only ones I've seen have been incorporated into combat, where they make sense. And I do get the impression from a lot of the cutscenes, like there are slowed down bits where I just feel like they should be making me push a button here. Oh yeah, I could use that. Much better. Oh. Oh, that's not even a th <laughs> that's th this isn't even a thing. It's just a background element. Oh. Steam catcher. Oh god, I've got a very old song stuck in my head now. Let me be your steam catcher. I don't know if it's very old. It's actually before my time, and I just like to listen to it. That doesn't do me a whole lot of good. Oh, my organs. All right, I can work this one out. One, three, two, and four simultaneously. Let's push this towards the laser. Choke an impotent fury! Ugh. Now we're talking! Oh god! Alright, trying to rush through is a poor choice. I can do it, I can do it, I'm on it. Trevor Belmont, on the case. Oh wait, I should move down. No! Oh. Ooh, frame rate was a little bit stuttery there. Let me just uh, see if I can. Well, not really, but. Ah, oh, shit! Oh my god! The cl of course it's the clock tower. This isn't based on the old-timey clock towers in Castlevania, where the, uh... Medusa heads live. This is based on the crazy difficult platforming sequence from Lords of Shadow. No! There was a birdie there I wanted to read. I'm a girl. I will get that corpse lore. Yes. There remains a remote chance that I might actually defeat the Dark Lord. The tip of the mythical vampire killer that rid the world of that bitch Carmilla remains somewhere in the castle. It is my mission to find it and forge the weapon anew once again. Of course! When he killed when Gabriel killed Carmilla, he snapped off the end of the uh, stake that comes out of vampire of a uh, the, the combat cross. Like the jagged pole still worked against vampire enemies, at least if you went back into the earlier levels. I wasn't sure if it was canonical, 
But he just left it there. Well. Rest in peace, brother. Thank you. Well, I've been in better shape. But I've been in worse shape. Nothing left for me to do but to avenge my family. If anyone should read this scroll dropped by the Brotherhood, know that I, the great Pirate King, swear vengeance upon the dragon. I will not rest until he is dead and pledge that he will forever curse the name of Dynasty. Oh shit. that? Oh, shit. Guys, um, that actually really bums me out, the idea that uh, if you should read this Brotherhood scroll, I kind of get the impression that he picked up the scroll and, uh, wrote over it and then dropped it back down, because I don't want that to be... This game is taking some curiously specific cues from, uh... Castlevania 3. Uh... I think that was just called Dracula's Curse. So, Dracula's Dr Castlevania 3, uh, main character was Trevor Belmont, but you could also recruit, uh, I've mentioned it before, you can also recruit, I believe, one of, uh, three different companion characters who you could switch between with Trevor. Uh, Alucard, the son of, you know, Dracula. Sypha Belnades, a um, uh, powerful wizard, who I believe the game tried to pull a Metroid and made uh, Sypha Belnades out to be a male in the manual. You know, the sprite is of a figure wrapped up in a cloak, so you can't really tell, I guess, until the ending. But, um, the third one was a pirate named Grant Dynasty. He could uh, crawl on walls and throw dagger, an infinite supply of daggers and stuff. I already know that in this universe, Trevor Belmont. Well, I don't know that for a fact, but come on. We basically know that Trevor Belmont and Alucard are the same person, and we know that Sypha Belnades is dead. We'll get Sypha Belmont here. But, uh. The 
fact that they hadn't mentioned Grant at all, I suppose, was a blessing. Probably just reading too much into this. If I had to guess... What am I supposed to do here? Just jump up? Uh... Oh, fuck. Like, if I had to guess personally, I'd say that, uh... You know, with all the other cues they were taking from Castlevania 3, they felt that they just couldn't have a, uh, have all these other references without at least name dropping Grant. That's what I feel that was. You know, let's notice the door closing behind me. Inside the adjoining room, I found two magic seals and engraved messages. Left seal. Doesn't matter when you ask, I'll all always shelter from the light. Right seal. Doesn't matter which magic you offer, we'll always unfold a path. That seems important. Yes, as does that. In any event, uh... I've got one thing left to get. In any event, I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Castlevania, Mirror of Fate, when Trevor continues on the path towards destiny. Later!